every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them. Are you almost ready? Got your vet appointment today. Are we excited? I'm not excited. I know you're gonna be a little tired after that. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, uh, today I'm gonna be cooking some peach cobbler. I've never made peach cobbler in my life, by the way. This is a special request, so you guys are gonna make it with me. So don't judge me if it comes out crazy. Okay, at least I'm trying. Spider's going to the vet in a couple minutes. I'm gonna get some food after that because I am so hungry. We'll see where the day takes us. We're on our way to the vet appointment right now. There's a lot of traffic. She's chilling. We're on our way right now. We're gonna make it just in time. So we'll see you guys when we get there. They just took Spider to get her a couple vaccines. And you guys know she's gonna come back a little, not down, cause she always has energy, but uh, I get sad for her. This is the little room. She weighs 5.70. Last time she was three point something, three point twenty something. All right, you guys, I made it back home. I made a quick stop at Minuti Coffee. You guys remember I got this a while back, and I wanted to try it again. Again, if you guys remember, this place is taxed, but I got something a little different. It is a white mocha. You can choose hot or cold. I chose cold, and then. I also stopped at my one of my favorite taco trucks. Guys, this place is so good and so affordable. Oof. So this is new, this breakfast taco. I've never tried, but I've seen a lot of good reviews about it. So I figured I might try one and go from there. This looks good. I got egg and bacon, I think. Yeah, it looks really, really good. And then I got this for later. Oof, chef's kiss. And I tell you, everything hits. And Spider's appointment went good. Did you guys know that you can get your dog's nails cut for free at the vet? I did not know. All right, you guys, I made it to my hair appointment. I'm kind of nervous because I told you, well, I don't know if I told you guys, but I am getting bangs. Now, I did some, I want to say research, but I decided that I just want to do carton bangs. I was thinking maybe I do like a whole bang, but I don't know if I'm comfortable with that yet. Like, I don't know how that would look on me, so I think I should try a wig on first before I make that decision. If I do curtain bangs, I think it'll look okay on me. And then I'm just gonna let them know, like, hey, listen, chop whatever is damaged. Like, mm, listen. Guys, ever since, I know I say this, but ever since I bleached my hair two years ago, it has never came back. And every time I look at pictures when my hair was a virgin, it's it's so sad i miss it so much but i did love the red hair face so i don't regret it i just wish i don't know i wish i took better care of my hair afterwards it just won't come back and i'm telling you guys i don't i don't do anything to my hair i don't straighten my hair i always leave it natural i promise the only times that i'll straighten my hair is maybe once a year on my birthday or an, or somebody else's birthday but besides that that's it that's like twice a year i swear and it's still damaged it's and and i know you guys see it i know i know people see it and i see it too and it's embarrassing so i'm gonna start religiously coming to the hair salon like they asked me to because my hair needs it honestly it needs it so it's time to grow up and come back every three months or every six months. Whatever they tell me, I'm going to follow to the T. And I'm literally going to put this on my calendar. Whatever date they tell me, three months, whatever, I'm putting it on my calendar. It's that serious now. As you guys can see, no, I didn't record anything at the salon. But I asked her not to straighten my hair because obviously my hair is already damaged. And she agreed. These are the curtain bangs that I went with. And I appreciate her so much because she did it with my part. Like, you guys know my... How I do my hair. So she did the bangs with how I do my part. I don't know if you guys can really see, but I feel like the bangs make me look younger. Is that just me? All right, now we're gonna go to the grocery store. I have a couple things to pick up for dinner tonight. I'm at the grocery store. I haven't really been filming because there's a lot of people here. So picking up some crystal light. 
I've tried all the other ones, I don't really like them, so. Now on the hunt for some peaches. I see some, oh, sliced peaches right here. Someone please explain to me why nutmeg is $6.49. Then I looked at other brands and nutmeg is still very expensive on other brands too, so I might as well just get this. This is what we have so far. Sorry guys, there's a lot of people here and I get stressed. All right, looking at the chicken. Last thing on the list is this cookies and cream. Who needs this much? All right, and that is it. I will see you guys at home. I made it home and this is what my hair is looking like. I put a little clip, a hair clip in the back. And so I feel like it looks super cute like that. It's gonna grow on me for sure, but why do I look like, one, I look young, but then two, I look like someone's sweet mom who makes, I don't know, cakes. I look like a I look like a baker or something. Are you guys telling me I don't look like the best baker in town? Let me know if you guys like it or you guys think I made a total mistake, which if you guys Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna take her to go potty, but let me know if you guys think I made a total mistake. If you do, that's okay. Like I mentioned, I was really rushed at the store. There was a lot of people, but I will put everything out and show you guys what I got. I spider has some food on her nose. <laughs> hey, you look so pretty! Can I see? What's that on your nose? You didn't eat all your food? There's a lit, you look like a red-nosed reindeer. Yeah, oh, bless you. Look it, what is that? What is that? She keeps licking her nose actually and it won't come off, so I don't know. <laughs> On this end, I am making some lemonade, some crystal light. I use two packs, I used to do one and a half, but two, trust me, gets it right, so I, I usually do it up to about right here. Very, very up there. A little less than a gallon, but almost a gallon basically. And just fill that up with water. Put these two packs in there and bam, you're good to go. Here's our presentation, very nice. So we're gonna put all of the peaches in here, all of the four peaches in here, and we haven't turned on the stove at all. Then we are going to do one cup of sugar. This is a recipe I'm following on YouTube, so don't judge me. So I'm gonna do a lot on here. And I know this is a lot of sugar, but I mean, to each his own. Diabetes, who? In all seriousness though, if you have diabetes, I would not suggest all this sugar. This is a lot of sugar. That's crazy. And you could also put it in like a fancy cup and pour it from there, but who wants to wash that many dishes? Mm -mm, not, not I. Again, the stove is not on yet. We will turn it on. You need to be patient. Surprisingly, this is not all the sugar that we're gonna be adding. We're gonna add more sugar. Okay, after this, again, like I said, more sugar, but this time, little kick. We're gonna do one cup of brown sugar. And if you've never dealt with brown sugar, let me just tell you guys, it's clunky, so make it work. If you guys have some brown sugar that's hard, you better clunk that ish up before you put it uh, in there. I mean, that's just my recommendation. That way it's easier for everything to mix in, but it's up to you. Now I have gone ahead and turned on the stove to medium heat, just because by the time I put this sugar in, gonna be ready for us to start cooking this so I'm gonna do half again mix that in I'm getting more into cooking these days I know I don't really like to cook but it's growing on me and filming it definitely motivates me to cook more not that I'm doing it for YouTube but if I record it and I make it really really good then I'm like okay let me refer back to my video that I did and then that way I can make it perfect every time most of the food now that I make is with no measurements. So like even with this, once I get the hang of it, I won't need the video anymore and then I could just do it out of my own measurements, which I never understood when I first started cooking. Like I said, I'm still, you know, still learning, but now I understand why people don't do measurements. I think it's better when you don't measure things because it's more fun that way and it always ends up tasting better without measurements. I can't explain it. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it, actually. Now we're gonna add some cinnamon. The guy said one teaspoon, but listen, we don't need a teaspoon. We can we can do this without the teaspoon. That's about right. Oh, I love the smell of cinnamon, guys. Cinnamon smells so good. 
Now we're gonna do one teaspoon of nutmeg. Make sure it says teaspoon, T-S-P, not tablespoon. All right, mix that in now. Then we are gonna adjust the heat to medium low heat. So for me, that looks like four. Like mine has low, two, four, and then medium. So I have it on four. And we're gonna cook that for 15 minutes. I'm gonna make sure I stirred everything good. I don't really have a lid for this, so improvise, you know? Now we have our baked thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So this is from Pyrex. We're gonna spray this with Pam all over. Go crazy. Then we're gonna get our pie crust. Remember, we have two. We have two pie crusts. So, obviously we're gonna go one step at a time. Get your cutting boards out. Now we're gonna stretch it out and try not to break it. Be gentle. This makes me nervous. I guess I can't really tell you when to stop stretching it out, but I'm gonna stop here. Now we're gonna put this first set of crust in here and stretch it out. I'm really nervous. Very nervous, actually. I keep scratching it. I feel like I suck at this. I'm gonna get a little bit of this right here. Put it right over here. I was able to do it pretty far. So now we're gonna do the other one, and then we're gonna do the same process and do it on do the rest on this side. And so you see, we're combining both crusts at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect now. We're gonna eat this. This is what it's looking like. We cover all the corners. Everything's covered. And now that it's been 15 minutes. Go ahead and turn off your stove. Now we're going to pour all of this in here. Ooh. Look at that, we cleared it. Nice and hot. We're not done yet, but I went ahead and started preheating the oven for 350 degrees. You can start doing that if you want, or you can wait. Now we're gonna use the other box of pie crust. Get these open. We're gonna cut the outer corners here. Cut that. And don't throw it away. I'm gonna be using that later. We're gonna cut these, I'm gonna say two fingers. Let's say two fingers. Then you want to pick and choose which ones you decide to put because not all of the pieces will fit, but you can always utilize the other pieces that we cut off at the beginning. So then we're going to lay it down on this side. Now it's not going to be long enough, but don't you worry. just want it to connect now if you have anything overlapping let's take that off now warm up three tablespoons of butter okay I have my melted butter here then you're gonna get a paintbrush <laughs> I'm kidding. You're gonna get one of those brushes for the kitchen. This is the one I have. No, it's not a paintbrush, but you get the picture. Now you're gonna wanna brush every single strip that we put down. So let's 
Let's do that. Then, after that, the guy in the video poured the remainder of the butter in there. And here, you don't have to brush it around. Just put that in there. I guess we never used this. I don't know. I guess if you needed to, you would, but we never used it. So, that's just extra pie crust we have. The rest is in God's hands. We're literally going to put this in the oven. 350 for 1 hour and 15 minutes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely scared of ovens. Now the fun part that nobody talks about after cooking. <sighs> How your kitchen looks afterwards. It's been an hour and 15 minutes, and this is what it looks like. Let it sit and enjoy. The only thing that I will say that I would change is I would cook the bottom. You know how we layered the bottom first? I would cook that first for a little bit. I would maybe let the peaches on the stove cook a little longer. But this is my first time making peach cobbler and I didn't know. It looks so pretty. I won't lie, it looks so cute. And yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Most of all, to your mom, to your auntie, to your tia. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.